Hello friends, this video on reproduction in plants part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about another very important topic that is seed dispersion. So we saw that seeds can give rise to new plants. But what we have to see is just now I was talking about this, right? That if you take and plant that seed in some other place, it can give rise to new plants. But the question is, how do we transport the seeds from one place to another? Is it always like we need to carry the seeds or sometimes by natural phenomenon also the seeds get carried away from one place to another? So let us try to understand what is seed dispersal. So it is the transport of seeds away from the parent plant. So what is parent plant? That means the plant which actually produced that seeds. Seeds are produced from the flowers of the plant. They are nothing but the ovule of the plant, of the flowers. So the plant which produced that seeds, the seeds get carried away from that plant and that process of transportation is called seed dispersion. Dispersion means to spread out. So that, that's how it happens here. So the seeds get spread out from the parent plant in different places. Now let's see what are the various ways seeds can get dispersed. So you see, let us say the seed was produced by this plant but the seed was carried away to some other place and there the seed gave rise to a new plant. So that, that, that can happen. So let us look at the various ways and what are the various advantages of seed dispersion. So how did seed dispersion helps? So first is it prevents competition between plants for resources. Now if we are able to spread out the seeds in different areas, then what happens? One advantage is that instead of having all the plants in the same place, they are scattered in different location. Now if you talk about a specific plant, let us say we are talking about rice. Okay, so all the rice plants, they have the same type of requirement. So if too much of rice plants are crowded within a particular area, what happens? They start competing with each other for their resources. Now their resources could be light, water, minerals, for everything they start competing with each other. And as a result, a lot of plants are not able to get sufficient nutrients which they need. But when the seeds get dispersed away, so the some seeds are here, some seeds are there, so they are in like different areas. So therefore maybe the plants which are in this locality, they are like having sufficient nutrients for themselves. Similarly, the plants in other locality, they have some sufficient nutrients for themselves. So there is no competition as such and this results in a healthy growth of plants. So when we talk about resources for plants, the main resources are sunlight, water and the minerals, minerals in terms of uh, the nutrients which are present in dissolved form in the soil. So this ensures better growth of plants and therefore it is always advisable to have plants scattered in various habitats. So plants will get you know new uh, habitats, new homes. So as a result we will have plants everywhere instead of plants being present only in a specific location plants will be everywhere. So these are some of the advantages of seed dispersion. Now what causes seed dispersion? How seeds are carried away from one place to another? So there are several factors which cause these. Some of the natural factors are wind. Now when wind blows it carries with it the seeds. There are some of the seeds which are lightweight, non-sticky, they get carried away by the wind. Like how pollination happens. In wind pollination also the same thing happens that the pollen grains get carried away by the wind. Similarly seeds which are lightweight they get carried away by wind and that's how seed dispersion can happen. It can also get carried away away with water to some other location. Animals. Animals are one of the most important uh, causes which result in seed dispersion. Now how animals carry seeds? Now sometimes seeds get stuck in the toes of various animals like rabbits, cats etc. So when, when they move from one place to another the seeds also get carried away. Some animals carry them from one place to another purposely for example birds sometimes they pick it up with their beak and then they carry it from one place to another. Some animals like elephants, they eat fruits. Now while eating fruits, they eat the fruit but they leave the seeds here and there. So maybe an elephant took a fruit from a plant and then he, it started walking and at the same time it was also eating the fruit. But then it, it, the seed is not being eaten by them. So what do they do? They just uh, throw the seeds anywhere while walking. So that's how also they end up dispersing seeds in different locations. So this is how uh, animals cause seed dispersion. Thank you. 
please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.